everyone, my name is Matt, I'm the exercise instructor. And I'm Jodie, one of the cardiac nurses. And we're from the West Suffolk Community Cardiac Rehabilitation Team. And we've got another session for you today, and today is your resistance exercise. Now, before we start doing anything, just make sure you've had a look for that checklist below this video, or if you're within our service, it will be in your patient booklet. Now, we split the session up into two parts. So this is part one, and part two can be found later in the playlist. We've got five exercises in each session. So if you are completing both uh, videos in the week, then obviously you'll be hitting your exercise guidelines for strengthening activity for two sessions, which is absolutely ideal. We've given variations, so either a seated or a standing version, so depending on your stability and how confident you feel with doing them, you can either follow Jody or myself to do either version. And also we're gonna give a variety of different equipment uses. So you can either complete the exercises using things like hand weights, like so, all right, or you can use uh, bottles of water, so remember, a 500ml bottle of water is about half a kilo, and a litre bottle is about a kilogram. We're also a variation for using the resistance band. So if you've got one of these kicking around at home anywhere, then obviously you can grab this and you can do the exercise with that, and we'll show you how to use that instead. We're going to do two sets of each of the exercises and ten repetitions. We're going to give a little break in between each of those sets to give yourself a little bit of time to recover, and also it gives us time to explain to you the benefits of that particular activity. As we go through the repetitions, have a think about that ball scale. Ideally, as we get towards that 10th repetition, we should be finding it quite hard, feeling that tension in the muscle. That's the way we know that it's definitely doing some work for you. If you find that you're hitting that hard level and you're finding it quite tough by, say, the fourth or fifth repetition, then obviously we need to make a little bit of variance to the resistance. And quite rightly, if we find that we're not even hitting that, nowhere near, okay, again, we need to make some adjustments there. So with the resistance band, if you're finding things very, very easy, then what you can do is you can just shorten the band slightly, which will make things a little bit tougher. And if you find things quite tough and you're not reaching those 10 repetitions, you can lengthen the band, which will make things a little bit easier. And with the hand weights and the bottle of water, either you can increase or decrease the weight depending on how you feel. We also need to have a think about your breathing. All right, so just make sure you're maintaining your breathing as we go through the activity. And we'll encourage you to count along with the repetitions as we go. So do that, just so we know that you're definitely um, not holding your breath while doing them. And finally, if you don't feel you can repeat the uh, full 10 repetitions, or you don't feel capable of doing a second set, then just relax in your chair until we move on to the next section and then you can pick up on the next exercise. Good, so if you're feeling ready, let's start the first one. Okay, so we're going to start with the first exercise. So we're going to do the upper back strengthener to begin with. So what we want to do is make sure we're in a good working position for all the exercises, okay? So making sure we're not slouching back on the tech chair, we're sitting nice and tall and upright, feet shoulder width apart, bringing our, our knees out in, in line with our ankles. And what we're going to do is just make sure that we suck in our tummy muscles a little bit just to start engaging those, those core muscles. Imagine you've got a piece of cord clinging up towards the ceiling just to help, help with that posture there. Okay, so during the exercises, we're going to demonstrate the exercises to you to begin with. So we, I'm going to use the dumbbells um, and then I'll also demonstrate using the band and then we'll crack on with the actual actual repetitions and the sets. So to begin with, um, I'll do the seated obviously and Matt's going to show you the standing version. Okay, so we're going to use the dumbbells to begin with just to, just to show you those exercises. So making sure you're in that good working position, okay? Bring those weights out just in front of you, shoulders nice and relaxed. We're just gonna draw in those weights towards us, squeezing those shoulders together, and just opening those arms out a little bit, okay? Bringing those arms back in and resetting, okay? And again, drawing in towards the, the tummy, pivoting at the elbows just to open out, squeezing those shoulder blades, and pulling back out again. Okay, so that's your, your dumbbell version. With the band, we're going to bring the band out in front of us. So again, making sure we're in that good working position. So we're going to have the band out. Again, shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to um, reset ourselves so we have our elbows nicely tucked in. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of resistance to that band and then we're going to draw it in towards the tummy. Okay, squeezing those shoulders together and then we're going to relax back out again. Okay, and again, adding a little bit of resistance, drawing in towards the tummy, squeezing the shoulders together and relaxing back out. Perfect, all right. So hopefully you can then follow whichever exercise you want to, either with dumbbells, whatever equipment you've got, or, or with the band, um, and obviously you've got the seated or the standing versions. Okay, so let's get started. So 
We'll start with the first, first set, so making sure you're in that working position, sitting nice and tall and straight. Don't forget to breathe whilst we're doing this one, okay? So making sure you're keeping in your own comfortable limits. So remember what we said, you can adjust the bands and to get, uh, gain the best resistance that you need that's most comfortable for yourself. Okay, so bringing the band out in front, we're going to add a little bit of tension, drawing in towards our tummy, squeezing the shoulders and relaxing out. That's one. And again, drawing in, squeezing the shoulders and relaxing back out. Two. And again, three. Adding a bit of resistance, squeezing those shoulder blades and relaxing back out. Four. Five. Don't forget to breathe while you're doing this. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, well done, and relax, we've popped the weights down. Lovely. So we're just going to have a little bit of a relax there for a moment, um, and then what we're going to do is reset, and we'll just repeat that, repeat that set. The upper back strengthener is designed to improve the condition of the muscles in the rear of the shoulder and across the upper back. It helps retract the shoulders, improving your posture, and also opening your chest cavity, which can assist with the breathing. It also helps with lifting movements. So, if you're using a computer or watching television, it can improve your posture and help you be more upright. And when you're reaching down to lift things out of the boot, it can assist with that movement also. We're now gonna move on to the second set of the exercise, but if you need more time to recover, then feel free to just pause the video now and then you can continue when you feel ready. Okay, so well done. So we've done our first set, so we're going to just reset ourselves back into that working position. So making sure that your feet are shoulder width apart, sitting tall and straight, engaging the, that, the core muscles, so just suck that tummy in a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is just start and repeat ourselves and just do exactly the same again for another 10 repetitions. Okay, so bringing the band out in front, adding a fraction of resistance, drawing in, squeezing those L, um, shoulder blades together, and then gently releasing out. That's one two, drawing in, squeezing the shoulders and resetting, three, remember to breathe as we do this, four, five, six, seven, So we're on to our second exercise, so we're going to do the calf raises now. So making sure that you're back in that working position again. So sitting up right, feet shoulder width apart, okay. For this one, a seated position, we're going to have our hands on our, on our, the, our knees or our thighs, um, just to, to add a bit of stability um, and a little bit of resistance. If you do want to have a bit of extra resistance there, then by all means you can hold your, hold your weight whilst doing this one. But for ease, I'm just going to do this, demonstrate this without. So, sitting tall and upright, we're going to come up onto our toes, just raising the heels off the ground, raising the calves, and relaxing back down. And again, up onto the toes, raising the calves, and back down. So if you're doing the standing version, just make sure you have a chair or a sideboard just in front of you, to just give yourself a little bit of support as you do this as you go up onto your toes, okay? Brilliant, well done. So, right, let's get ready and we'll start ourselves uh, with the first set. So. Coming up in that working position, up onto the toes, hold it for a second, and relax the heels back down again. And again, number two, up onto the toes, and relax. Number three, number four, nice and slow, nice and controlled, remember to breathe. Number five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Have a relaxed back for a moment. That's your first set done. We'll come back in a second and do our second set. The calf raise is designed to improve the strength of the muscles that make up the calf, the lower part of the leg. They assist with pointing the toes down and raising the heels off the floor, which is important when it comes to walking and for general stability. Day to day you will engage these muscles when going onto tiptoes to reach up to put things away in high places or when just walking up the stairs. We're now going to move on to the second set of the exercise, but if you need more time to recover, then feel free to just pause the video now and then you can continue when you feel ready. Okay, well done. So we're on to the second set now. Okay, so more, 10 more repetitions. Okay, so back into that working position, tall and straight. Okay, hands on our thighs if you're seated. Okay, we're going to come up onto our toes, bring the calves up for a second and relax back down. Nice and slow, nice and controlled, remember. Number two. Number three, remember to breathe as you do these ones. Four, five, up onto the toes, six, seven, eight, nine, Final one. Well done. Excellent. Relax back in your chair. You've done the, the calf raises. Alright, very good everyone. So we're going to go on to our next exercise, exercise number three, which is going to be a low row, which might be a bit new to some of you. So we're again going to give the examples of the seated, the assisted standing version. If you're following Joe, then obviously just come back to your working position, sitting nice and upright in your chair, ready to do this next exercise. So, we're going to demonstrate with the dumbbells to begin with. So, if you're doing the standing version, we're going to take one arm at a time, all right? Same for the seated, we're going to take one foot back. Pop a hand in the chair on that sideboard, give yourself support, and just going to flex forward slightly at the hips, all right? And you're going to take the same position on the chair, just a little bit of flex forward. Use your hand to support yourself on your other leg. And then we're going to row in, so putting that weight in towards our belly button in line with it, okay? So, keeping the arm to the side, we're just rowing in line with the belly button, and then relaxing back down. Okay, so we're going to row in towards in line with the belly button and then relax back down. Okay, very good. We'll give the demonstration with the band. So exactly the same position, but all we're going to do is we're going to pop the band under one of our feet. So the foot in front if you're doing the standard version, or you can pop it under the foot on the same side if you're doing the seat version. Fine, you just have to get the band a little bit short, all right? And then again, rowing in towards the side of your body, okay? In line with your belly button to rowing in, keeping the hand just to the side, nice and tucked in, and then relax back down. Remember, keep that elbow tucked into the side, to so rowing in, and relaxing back down. Very good. So, whether you're gonna use the resistance band or the weights, we're gonna set up for our first set of 10 repetitions, okay? Good, so set yourself up, and we're gonna row in, so rowing in, Nice and slowly in, and relax back out. Remember to maintain that breathing. Number two, and relax. Three, and relax. Four, and five. Just make sure you're breathing, count along if you can. Six, seven, Eight, very good, keep going, doing really well. Nine, and we've got one more to do, and ten. Good, well done. Unfortunately, we've got to do it on the other side as well, okay? So switch those hands around. You're gonna take the other foot back if you're doing the standing. Change your hands around on the seated version, okay? And change just where that band is under your foot. And again, we'll do exactly the same on this side, okay? So we're gonna row in line with the belly button, keep the elbow tucked into the side, and relax back down. Very good, maintain that breathing for number two. And relax. Three. Four. 
five, six, very good, keep going, doing really well, seven, eight, nine, one more to go, and ten, very good, just pop those weights to one side, have yourself a little bit of relax, take a little bit of a breather, and then we're going to come back and do the second set in just a moment. The low row is one of the more advanced exercises that we do in this session, and it brings a lot of muscles into work. The muscles of the mid and upper back are used, but also assisted by the bicep muscle to pull the weight in towards you. It's very good for action to pull towards the body, such as pulling down to close the boot of the car, pulling a bag on a surface towards you, or opening a door or cupboard. We're now going to move on to the second set of the exercise, but if you need more time to recover, then feel free to just pause the video now and then you can continue when you feel ready. Okay, so we're going to do the second set of our low row. So remember, if you're doing the seated version, just make sure you're into that working zone as Jodie's demonstrating very well there. Thanks. Uh, if you're doing the standard version, take one foot back, weight down by the side, just pivoting forwards, okay? And again, we're going to row in line with that belly button as we did before. Use that hand for support. So rowing in towards the line of that belly button, keeping the elbow tucked into the side and relax back down. Number two. And three, remember to maintain that breathing, count along if you need to. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more to go, nine, and ten. Very good. Step back in from there, all right? We're going to switch around, so switch that band over to the other side. And we're going to switch those feet around if you're doing the standing version. One hand of the chair, opposite hand of the chair, weight down by the side. And again, going in line with that belly button. So we're going to pull in and relax back down. Nice, slow control movements. Remember your breathing, number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more to go, doing really well, nine, and ten. Very good, and relax there. Pop those weights to one side, give yourself a little bit of a rest before you move on to the next exercise. Okay, so very good. And the next exercise is gonna be our side leg raise, all right? So again, if you're doing the standing version, we're gonna use that chair for support. You don't need any equipment to do this. We're just gonna use the resistance from the weight of your legs to do it, okay? So, feet hip width apart to begin with, and all you're gonna do is just gonna raise one of your legs out to the side and then relax back down, okay? Just take it to where it's comfortable for you. If you're painful in your hips, just reduce that range of movement, but if it's still too much, then just leave this exercise for now. If you're doing the seated version, obviously it's very difficult to raise your leg up to the side, so what Jodie's gonna do is gonna take a leg out to the side, so lifting the foot up, taking the leg out to where it's comfortable for her, and then you're gonna take it back to the middle again. And you'll feel it not just in the outside part, but probably just into your quadriceps, into your groin area, as you lift that leg up and take it out. You do tend to get an awareness of how heavy your legs actually are. Good, all right? So remember your upright posture, sitting nice and upright in that chair, good working zone, and we're gonna do 10 repetitions, and we're gonna do 10 on each side. It's not advisable to do them both at the same time. Good, all right, so we're gonna raise one of those legs out to the side, or take it round to the side and relax back down. Very good, number one. Two. Three, remember to maintain your breathing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, 
nine, very good, we've got one more to go on this side, really feel like working down the outside part of the leg, number 10, and relax back down, very good, give those feet a little bit of a wiggle through just to ease that off, you can really sort of feel it working down the outside of that thigh. Good, and we're going to do 10 on the other side, all right, so again, we're going to raise that foot out, or take that foot round to the side, and then relax back down to the midline again, and again, number two, remember, keep that breathing up, three, Four, five, six, very good, keep going if you can, seven, eight, two more to go, nine, last one for me then, and ten, very good, relax there, give those feet a bit of a wiggle out. Take some time to recover if you need to, and then we're going to come back for the second set. The side leg raise is designed to strengthen the leg abductor muscle, which is involved in moving the leg away from the body. It also assists with stabilisation when one leg is off the floor. This movement is useful when stepping over the side of the bar, getting into and out of the car, and even just stabilising the body while walking. We're now going to move on to the second set of the exercise, but if you need more time to recover, then feel free to just pause the video now and then you can continue when you feel ready. Alright, very good, so we're going to go along and we're going to do our second set, alright, if you're fitting up to it. So remember, working zone, if you're sitting, okay, nice and upright, piece of string pulling you up towards the ceiling. And if you're doing the standing, use that chair for a bit of support and we're going to take that leg out to the side or round to the side, depending on which one you're doing. So remember, count along, don't hold your breath while doing it. Very good, so raising that leg up to the side, or around to the side, and relax back to the midline again. Very good. Two, three, very good. Four, remember, just take the words comfortable for you. You'll feel that tension in the outside of those thighs, but it shouldn't be painful at all. Five, and six. Seven, eight, two more to go, nine, last one on this side, ten, very good, give those feet a bit of a wiggle out, and we're just going to finish off this with ten more on the other side, I'm sure you're very happy about that, and again raising that leg up to the side, or round to the side if you're doing the seated version, and relax to the midline, very good, number two, count along if you can. Three, four, five, six, very good, keep going, seven, eight, two more, nine, Ten. Excellent. Very good, everyone. Give those feet a bit of a wiggle out again. A bit of a shake up. Ease those muscles off down the side. Well done. All right, we've got one more exercise to do for this session. Well done. Very good. So we're on to the last exercise for this session, and we're going to finish off with the bicep curl. So, nice, simple exercise. We're going to start off with the dumbbells to demonstrate those first. Keeping the elbows tucked into the side. Now, remember, if you want that extra bit of support, you can just do one arm at a time if you wish to, but we're going to demonstrate both arms at the same time, so keep the elbows tucked into the side. We're going to bring those weights up slowly up towards those shoulders, and then slowly back down again. Good. Remember if you're doing a seated version, nice upright posture, feet hip width apart, bring them up, and then slowly back down again. Very good. Demonstrating with the band, again you can do both hands at the same time, or you can do one arm and then the other, depending on what is easiest for you. We're going to pop the middle of the band underneath one of our feet and we're going to grip the band so it's coming out the top of the hand by the thumb, okay? So it's holding it like an ice cream cone, I like to think of it. Again, exactly the same movement, elbows tucked in towards the side and all you do is bring those hands up towards your shoulder and then slowly back down again. So slowly up and slowly back down. Very good. So choose the one that's right for you, okay? Good, I'm going to switch back to the dumbbells. Joe's just going to stay on the band and we're going to complete those 10 repetitions and before we have that little break, all right? So remember, nice upright posture, elbows in by the side. And off we go, bring those hands up for one. 
and relax. Two. And relax. Three. Four. We can start to find it working in that bicep now. Five. Six. Seven. Three more to go. Doing really well. Eight. Nine. And one more. And ten. Very good. Hope you can feel that really working in that bicep muscle in that arm. You can pop those weights to one side just for a moment. Give your arms a bit of a shake out if you need to. Take a little bit of a break and then we'll be back for the second set in just a moment. The bicep curl is not surprisingly designed to strengthen the bicep muscle. This is the muscle that runs down the front of the upper arm and is used for the flexion of the elbow. It's used to assist with pulling movements as discussed earlier with the low row, but it's also for lifting things up. This movement is seen when lifting up a pan, drinking a cup of tea, or picking something up. We're now going to move on to the second set of the exercise, but if you need more time to recover, then feel free to just pause the video now and then you can continue when you feel ready. Okay, so it's the last set of the last exercise for this session and we're going to just finish off with another set of those bicep curls. So if you're doing the seated version, remember sitting nice and upright in a good working zone. Take the middle of that band, pop it under one of your feet. Okay, and again, you can do one arm at a time if you want to. Do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, depending on what works for you. If you're doing the standard version, obviously, so I'm going to use the dumbbells, elbows tucked to the side for either version, and all we're going to do is bring those hands up towards those shoulders, and then back down again. Nice, slow, controlled movements as always. Maintain that breathing. Number two. Three. Very good, halfway through, doing really well. You probably just start to feel those biceps complaining about it. Six, seven, eight, two more to go. Number nine, and last one, number ten. Very good, and relax there. Excellent, well done, everyone. We've finished those exercises. Well done. Very good everyone, so you've completed the resistance exercise part one, so well done. Make sure you leave at least a day to recover before you move on and do part two. It's quite normal to get a bit of muscle aches after those exercises, it can last up to about three days. If you're concerned at all, please feel free to contact one of us nurses on triage daily, so um, you've got our telephone number if you're in our programme, so feel free to contact us via there. But very well done, and we'll see you back here again soon for part two of the exercise. Well done, see you soon.